Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with smart objects. So smart objects can come in handy in many various documents that you may be working with and the first thing I want to show you is smart filters. So when I right click this muffin I can choose convert to smart object and what this does is it opens up the doors to many other features here in Photoshop and I'll just show you a few of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is now that this is a smart object I can go to filter blur and apply a Gaussian blur to this layer. Click OK. Now let's say I continue working I, I add a bunch more layers and do lots of things but then I realize that this is a little too blurry and I want to change it back. Well since you've done so many things already you can't really go back and undo every little thing because you're usually your undo button might run out. So another thing you can do is apply a smart filter to your smart object. And what this does is it allows you to go back, double click on your Gaussian blur and adjust this blur or better yet, clear these smart filters because we don't want a blurry muffin. Another thing I can do with smart filters is I'm just going to kind of resize this here and move it over and then hold down alt and duplicate this and drag this over. Now the muffin copy, I'm going to right click and rasterize this layer. So I have a rasterized layer and I have a smart object layer. I'm going to select both of these layers and I'm going to hit control or command T to free transform these muffins and size them down. Now I'm going to hit enter. Now let's say I want to make them big again. So I'm going to hit control T and make them big. Oh look at that. The smart object stayed clear while the rasterized object got all pixelated and blurry. So if I constantly size these two layers down and then back up, you can see that the smart object remained the same while the rasterized object got even worse. That's another feature you can really take use of, especially if you're going to be sizing up and down objects and you're not sure how big you want them to be. One last thing, I'm going to take this smart object and bring the muffin over here on this corner and then duplicate this muffin bring it over here maybe size it down a little bit on this corner and maybe duplicate it one more time and just put it on his head so he will never know where the food is and what I want to do is I'm going to double click any of these smart object layers thumbnails double click those you get a little pop-up click OK it's fine and then we open up our muffin.psb and now what this is it's a it's a sort of an editable document within your original PSD file. So what I can do to this muffin now is take out a byte, go to file save, and when I go back to my dog all of these muffins have a byte bitten out of them. And this is because we've duplicated these smart objects from the same source. So this is the source and everything we do to this source will take effect on all of our duplicated layers. Now if I don't want this to happen I can always right click the layer and choose new smart object via copy. Now I can move this over here and when I go back to the source undo that byte, save that, then go back you can see that all of these are perfectly fine except for the copy remained untouched by that source. So that's if you don't want that particular muffin to be touched when you edit the source. One downfall of the smart object is you cannot draw on it with a paintbrush, you know, edit it, erase it, or anything. So you might have to, you know, duplicate it and rasterize it. So hopefully you've learned something today. You can use this on all of your future Photoshop projects. Remember you can request tutorials in the comments below or at the link in the description. And subscribe to this channel for weekly tutorials just like this one. Again, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.